The main aim is to create lifelong learners within the engineering discipline. Um, the world is changing so rapidly that uh, there is no one set of knowledge that's going to suit a student uh, in a profession for the rest of their lives. So we train them to research, to uh, draw their own conclusions, to synthesize, and these high level skills are the skills we concentrate on. So it's based on the notion of problem-based learning. People learn best by doing. And that's the insight that we've built our course around here at the University of Limerick. So while we have the whole uh, classical knowledge of maths and physics and materials and so forth um, as the spine through the course, the method by which the student absorbs and understands this is through solving problems. So not alone must they produce a design, they must present it, they must justify it, they can critique it, and they can learn to continuously improve it. A unique aspect of the course here at Limerick is that we have integrated many parts of it with the uh, courses in the School of Architecture so that the engineering and architecture students uh, work together uh, discovering aspects of building assembly, they develop their sketching talents which is a very important communication tool, they learn how to talk to each other, so they learn how to talk about buildings from two quite different points of view and um, we hope to build this integration into the course on an ongoing basis as the course develops. Uh, we will also be uh, developing quite a strong environmental engineering content to the course um, because that's a very, very important theme going forward. These are the ways of thinking that we will be inculcating in the students. The career opportunities are many. Uh, uh, traditionally, uh, many, many civil engineers uh, work for contracting firms. They also work on, on the design side for the, the many, many companies that employ huge numbers of civil and structural engineers to design all of this infrastructure. And uh, they also work very much in the public realm with local authorities, government departments and so on who have to set government policy. But also of course there's postgraduate uh, possibilities and 